All right, we are going live on YouTube right now. Bear with me as I share this across all the great planes far and wide to let everybody know we are live on YouTube. I hope everybody had a great week. It's been a busy week over here in the world of core cars news. A lot of news out there. Consumer reports say your Roku's subjective can be hacked. Um, we took a look at that. We can talk about that. We can take a look at all the different news out there. Philo just added a bunch of app support for different players and devices out there. Um, so you can now a &E networks and script networks. You can use your Philo subscription to log in. So, all right, one more place to kind of share all this. Hello, Duff, good to see you there. Share this over on Facebook. I'm running a little bit behind. It's been one of those days we're just kind of getting out there. Well, on a usually cold Texas day too. Never fun when that happens. Tim, Tom, good to see you here. The T's are in the top, in the house. All right, hey, I think I've shared this everywhere. Hey everybody, it's great to see you all here. I am now, got that Craig. Hey Craig, I got your mug. I have to, I had to retry that whole signing it with acrylic pen thing. Um, I'm gonna put it in the oven tomorrow to seal it. And I should have that out in the mail to you tomorrow, Friday morning at the latest. So yes, your mug is coming. Um, Big says, will YouTube TV add TNT? Um, probably not. So according to Time Warner, um, they offer TNT, uh, CNN, etc. to YouTube TV. YouTube TV said no because they didn't have money in their subscription to add those channels without having to raise the cost of the package and they didn't want to do that. So um, at this moment, I wouldn't look for any additional channels to be coming to uh, YouTube TV. Raymond asks, is it true that Discovery Networks is buying HGTV and Food Network? Yes, they are in the process of buying scripts. Just got EU approval, European Union has approved it. Still waiting for the US government to approve it. Um, this is probably much more likely to be approved than some of the other deals than the Disney and so forth. So. Um, yes, they are trying to buy it. It is not a done deal yet. Sean says, how you doing, Luke? Sean, good. I hope I say that right. Good to see you there. Things are good. The site is good. Um, it's been busy. All right. Uh, big, if you're looking for um, Turner channels, I would go down down below in the show notes, there's a link to corecarsnews.com. Right there at the top, there's the live TV guide. Click on that, you can see all the services that offer the networks you want. Pick the one that's right for you. And don't forget, I only have about 10 of these mugs left. If you want a Core Cars News coffee mug, you better buy them today, because I actually think we're less than 10 now. Uh, but yeah, get a Core Cars News coffee mug um, today, and then I will uh, try to mail it out to you this week. Uh, I know two people had theirs broken shipping. We've remailed them to you. My apologies. We bought different boxes that should ship these things a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so send me an email. We'll we'll get them out there. Robert, you got your mug. Good to hear. Jason says, will PlayStation View get their Fox back? So some Fox affiliates, the Tribune-owned Fox affiliates, left PlayStation View. Tribune owned Fox affiliates are in the process of being sold to Sinclair. Uh, with some of them, it sounds like they may be sold to Fox Parent Group. Both Sinclair and the Fox Parent Group um, has rights to ship them uh, or with PlayStation View. So it's very possible once that sale is done that um, the Fox affiliates from Tribune will return to PlayStation View. Not guaranteed, but very possible. How long will it take for DirecTV Now locals to show up um, on DirecTV Now? Um, they've been adding locals every couple of weeks. So I would suspect, suspect by the end of the year, most locals will be on most streaming services. If you have multiple homes, why can't you have multiple live services? Uh, WM, you can, for instance, Sling TV, Direct TV Now, and a few others will allow you to take your, you know, if you have a vacation home on the lake, you can use one account at both locations. Some like Hulu and PlayStation View do not allow that, at least when it comes to a streaming player. They do have limited access outside the home on mobile devices. Richard, thank you. I'm glad to hear you liked our video on DirecTV Now yesterday. Uh, 
Um, Teresa, I will probably be getting more mugs. I don't know. I got about 10 of these left right now, and we'll see how they sell. I may order some more coming up here. I'm really not making a lot of money. It's more of just a fun thing. So I'll definitely try to see if maybe in a month or two I can order more. But if you want some, I would order it now and not wait. Um, Raymond says, Corkars News, did anyone buy streaming rights to Thursday Night Football yet? So we know that Fox will be the sole era of Thursday Night Football, at least the broadcast ones. They bought both the NBC and the CBS rights to Thursday Night Football, but streaming rights have not been sold yet. As best we can tell, they're still up for negotiations. Amazon's bidding on it. I believe Twitter's bidding on it. Facebook has dropped out of the battle for streaming rights. So we'll have to see how that goes. All right, I've been thinking about getting the DirecTV now for Apple TV 4K offer. Which version is it, 32 or 64? I believe it's the 32 gigabyte version. Um, somebody correct me, but I believe if you buy the DirecTV now, it's the 32 gigabyte version. Hmm. All right, sorry, I had an email that looked very interesting that I will have to look into. Sorry, I got distracted there. Thoughts on Sling TV and the Air TV? Um, the Air TV is a great player. I love the concept. I love the network version of the Air TV where you take your antenna, you connect it to the Air TV, you connect it to your Wi-Fi network, and then it streams out across all your devices. So, I, you know, the my network, um, Air TV is in my office, about ten minutes from here. On my phone right now, I can watch um, Sling TV through my Air TV account, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I think it's a great device. I highly recommend it if you have Sling TV and an antenna. Get the Air TV, and now you're watching all your locals through your Sling TV app, both at home and on the road. Now, there is no DVR right now, but they say a DVR for the Air TV is coming. Both current ver both versions of the Air TV will have a DVR going forward. Can I, um, I've been researching uh, coaxial cables and found the um, RG, um, RG6, RG11. Is there an advance between the two? Um, you know, I'm not very familiar with the differences. I would just get the RG11 for an antenna. It's not going to make much of a difference unless you're running, unless you're running extremely long runs. I wouldn't worry about it. Raymond says, "Did 2B TV make any more um, streaming deals or investments?" Uh, not that I've heard of recently. I would expect 2B TV to be doing more in the future. Um, nothing that we haven't already announced, I believe. I've Luke, can you show on Sling, Hulu, and YouTube like you did on DirecTV Now? Um, Richard, show them what? Are you looking for like a live video of all the different streaming services? I pretty much have all of them. If you go to Core Cars News, click on my profile, click on the video tab, and there's a little search bar right there for my um, videos. Type in like Sling TV, Hulu, and you'll find a video there um, demoing all the user interfaces. Big Mike asks, any difference between the Fire TV and Roku Stick? Um, they're both pretty um, s or similar, at least when you look at the price point. So you have the Roku Stick Plus, which is a 4K HDR device. The Fire TV Stick, the, the $39 one, is just HD, so no 4K, no HDR. The Roku Stick Plus does have that better antenna, so they took the antenna out the, outside of the device, put it on the cable, which means you get a much better streaming experience there. Um, the uh, But past that, they're very similar. They have pretty much the same apps. One of the big pluses for Roku right now is it has a dedicated official Roku or, um, YouTube channel where the Fire TV has a browser version, but you miss on the bells and whistles uh, of YouTube with that. So there, there's the breakdown. Um, is ESPN3 part of the $5 ESPN streaming service? So this week, 
uh, Disney announced that there are um, some more details about their long-awaited ESPN um, streaming service. It's called ESPN Plus. It will cost five dollars, give you access to like ten thousand or something events from college football all the ways up to all kinds of different things. What what content that will exactly evolve, Paul? We don't know. Uh, Disney has not said exactly. Here's the events that will be on this one or that one. So keep that in mind. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Just to be honest, they say sometime in 2018. Early 2018 was the earlier one. When exactly? We'll have to wait and see. But um, it's coming. Um, Joseph says, how will people be able to watch 3.0 in Phoenix? Converter box? Yes, you'll probably need a converter box. Don't worry about it right now, um, Joseph. They have not announced any details of the public face of trying trial out on that. So sit tight. Next month or two, we'll probably know a lot more about the 3.0 public t test coming to the Phoenix market. Um, Raymond, I don't believe there's any Pluto TV news in the last couple of weeks that you've missed. Other, I, um, they hired a few people, that's about it. So Pixel, um, different story for a question I've never... Uh, Big Mac, I think I missed, I don't understand your question or I missed part of that question, can you re-ask it? Colin, to watch Hulu with live TV application home, get a Chromecast. Uh, Hulu will live with live allows you to cast from your phone to a tablet to a Chromecast outside your main home. That's pretty cool. So you can use a Chromecast outside of your home. Kind of sucks though. You have to have a second device just to watch Hulu live. Hopefully Hulu, I, my biggest problem with Hulu and the live TV service is I travel with a Roku and I get it that they don't have rights to the live TV side outside of the home. But they also block your access to the on-demand version if you take a streaming player outside your home network. I, that, that annoys me. Uh, Johnson says he just got a DirecTV Now beta invite on Monday after a well, long wait. It's good to see you got in there. I just want to say the new beta DVR sucks. Yeah, I've been hearing that from some people. Some people like it. Some people say it doesn't work very well for them, unfortunately. Um, so PlayStation View dropped the ball big time, says Tom, during the Sunday Super Bowl. I missed the kickoff in um, the first 20 minutes because it will not load and was frozen. Yeah, some people it was down. Um uh, PlayStation View and Hulu both went down. Hulu went down at the last two minutes of the game, unfortunately. Um, so, uh, you know what? New technology. The The truth is, though, most streaming services, uh, even the NBC Free app stayed up. Uh, Sling TV did very well. Fubo did very well. Drake TV Now did very well. YouTube TV did very well. Um, so, yeah, keep in mind, if Fubo or uh, Drake TV Now, they took the extra step of they offered a duplicate NBC feed. So, they try to divide up the traffic on it. So uh, hopefully PlayStation View next year will nail it. We'll wait and see what happens. Why does Discovery TV channels like TLC not allow streaming services to be recognized as a provider? Because TLC charges a lot of money for that and services haven't wanted to pay that. Just to be honest with you. You you know, Sling TV, PlayStation View, etc. have to pay extra money to get those um, access. Uh, and allow you to log in. So they just haven't wanted to pay that money is the short end of it. Um, Richard says there's a new Wi-Fi standard coming from D-Link called AX, maybe coming out in the summer of 2019. Wouldn't really worry about it, to be honest with you. AC is um, good enough for now. Uh, I would say if you've been thinking about getting a router, I wouldn't wait for the new AX. For a reason it may come out in the summer of 2019 but it's probably going like all things there's two rules about new technology it'll be a year after it comes out it'll be cheaper and it'll be a lot smaller um so you if you wait and try to buy it when it comes out in 2019 you will probably be paying a premium price for that so i wouldn't necessarily wait um any fcc news on rural internet or 5g lately well fcc is in the final steps of dumping $2 billion into uh, rural broadband and 5G. A lot of people are like, why are they doing this? You know, 5G is the future. This plan will include fixed wireless services like 5G. Um, the auction will come this summer with work probably starting in the fall and winter to expand um, broadband service into more rural areas. Uh, Two billion won't even scratch everything, but it'll make a noticeable dent in expanding rural broadband. 
truth is, you know, America is a big place. A lot of people say, well, South Korea has great broadband everywhere. Uh, the truth is, South Korea could fit very nicely into a state. Um, it's a fraction of the size of the United States, and the people are much, they're much more condensed where um, outside of it, it's spread out. Has there been any Disney talk about their Netflix alternative? Now, anything I mean, recently, uh, Mick, it'll probably be sometime late this year. We'll learn more. It doesn't come out until next year, so I would say just hang tight. It's coming. Are all streaming services on delayed compared to cable? Seems like it'd be a minute or two for me. Depends on the streaming service. It depends on your device. It depends on your internet. So, yes, um, if you think about it, an antenna is the um, most accurate fastest received and um, signal cable tv will be slightly delayed from your antenna cable tv and digital will be even more a little bit delayed streaming services runs about on average i find about 30 seconds behind but the delay of a streaming service depends on a few factors your internet speed if it takes if you have a slow internet speed and it's buffering more it'll take longer if you have a slower um streaming player what like say a fire a first generation fire tv or a um, a Roku 2 that's now a few generations old that is a slower processor slower speed it will take longer for it to load so um, there there's issues on both sides if you're seeing a two minute delay that problem is probably on your end a little bit with your internet speed weak Wi-Fi or an old streaming player all right Fubo TV and NBC teamed up for the Winter Olympics um, yes they'll be offering on demand and live coverage of the Winter Olympics check it out I have a story about at CoralCarsNews.com. Colin asks, Luke, any more news on Disney and Fox TV merger? No, nothing. We're just waiting for regulatory approval, but Disney and Fox have a bid in. There's some rumors that Comcast may try to swoop in and get a deal done, but I'm not holding my breath on that. This Disney deal sounds like pretty much a done deal. Hey, real quick, if you missed all color of um, coffee mugs from Core Cars News, I only have about 10 of these left. So... Go in the show notes down below is a link to buy these. You support Core Cars News and you get a nifty little coffee mug. Um, I don't know when or if we'll be buying more of these, but I have about 10 more to pass to sell. Um, so get your uh, mugs in right now. Also, if you want to support Core Cars News, A, the Daily Burn, which is like a personal fitness trainer in your home, is offering a free 60 day trial. Details in the show notes down below. Give that free trial a try and support Core Cars News. Any news on charge adding um, more affiliates? I'm sure they will. I will. Uh, I know the guy who runs that uh, PR department, them, and comment. I'll see if they have any news on new affiliates or anything. Um, so yeah. So if I haven't answered your question, re-ask it. Hey, use the super chat. Send a two bucks in, so your your or three bucks or five bucks, so your con- question stays at the top. I see a lot of people wondering how come I didn't answer their question. Well, the truth is a lot of um, questions are flying by before I get a chance to see them. So re-ask them if I haven't answered them. Did, uh, uh, Luke, didn't Hulu and ABC team up for Olympic coverage too? Yes, yeah, so um, Fubo and uh, Hulu have similar kind of deals. It looks like the Hulu is a little bit more in-depth, to be honest with you. Both will also allow you to log into the Olympic app with your Hulu and Fubo logins and access that. Um, don't know if it's legit, but there's a Canadian TV that costs $1.99 a month. I, you know, Edward, I am not familiar with that Canadian TV service. Sorry. All right. Keep the questions coming. If you're new here, see, we got a lot of new faces I don't recognize. Every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, we're right here to talk about the world of cord cutting, answer your questions, help you become a cord cutter, save money, break free from the high cost of traditional pay TV, cable TV, satellite. Um, so we're, we post videos here on YouTube every few days. Subscribe. But over at cordcardsnews.com, link in the show notes, we're posting four, five, six, seven stories a day every day about the world of cord cutting. Netflix, Hulu, over there TV, streaming players, antennas. So check us out. It's great to see so many people here. Hit that subscribe button. We would really appreciate it. And uh, check us out at corecarsnews.com. Um, has the beta for DirecTV Now um, been really fast lately? I think it's getting better. I noticed they had a big update in the DirecTV Now beta about a week ago, and it's really done 
a great job of um, smoothing some things out. It's far from perfect, uh, but it's getting better, I think. Raymond says, Luke, uh, any news on Crackle? Not at this time. I don't think I've uh, heard any news about Crackle in the last couple of weeks. Hello, Jim. Good to see you here. Shane says, I we have finally decided um we we will finally see dedicated DirecTV Now app on the Android TV since ATT is making an Android TV box. Question mark. I'm assuming you put there. So yeah, so ATT is working on it. They have announced that ATT is working on a home-centric version of DirecTV Now with a dedicated box, but that's not supposed to come out to the end of this year. What exactly is happening there? We'll have to wait and see. Fingers crossed. Um, are there any third-party DVR options to record new episodes of shows on the History Channel? Um, you will have to use the um, DVRs like Tableau, HD Home Run, Plax, etc. Record over their TV. They won't record your streaming service. So uh, you will want to get a streaming service like YouTube, DirecTV Now, Hulu, etc. that offer a DVR and then record it through theirs. Will YouTube TV add networks like HDTV and TCL? Well, according to Time Warner, um, they offered to give uh, YouTube TV like CNN and TBS or TNT or whatever it is that they don't have. And Hulu or uh, YouTube TV turned them down because they didn't want to raise the price. From our understanding, the channels that YouTube TV has is all they can afford at that price point. So keep that in mind. So I wouldn't expect a ton of new channels unless there's a price hike. There is um, where is the Hallmark Channel available? Hey, Christian, I could break that down, but I bet you have a lot of questions where different channels are. Um, Hallmark Channel is available on many different streaming services. Go down and look at the show notes on this video. Click on the link for corecardsnews.com. Right at the top, there's a menu, and right there it says Live TV Guide. Click on that, and it'll show you every streaming service, major streaming service, what devices they support, their DVR, and what channels they have. So you can scroll down where you see Hallmark, and you see all the different services that offer it, DirecTV Now, Sling, PlayStation View, Fubo, etc. So check that out. Um, Raymond, I'm not familiar with that one. Just because it's in the Google Play Store doesn't always mean anything nowadays. Uh, but I'm just, I'm just not familiar with that service, so I can't comment. All right, keep the questions coming and you know, hit that subscribe button, everybody. Um. There is uh, some hoopla about hoopla, WM. Um, did I miss the question there? I, or is that just a statement? Um, movie fan asks, will the DirecTV Now beta on Roku offer DVR options? They say it will. Currently, it's testing out the new app, but the DVR is not working on the Roku version. They say that's coming very soon. We'll have to see when that happens. What do you think 4K will be adopted for cable and streaming services? So it's just kind of starting to come out on cable. There are many streaming services that already offer 4K, mostly on demand. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, list goes on and on, all offer 4K. Uh, it'll probably come, DirecTV now says 4K is on the roadmap, they're working towards it. I think PlayStation View even at one point hinted at it, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, keep the questions coming. I will do my best to answer them for you. Do you know of any plans for a new MyBox? No, there's been no word of new MyBox. There was a word that there was a new Android box coming. That fell apart really quick. Uh, I, I wonder if they changed their mind about it. It's hard to say. How long we get? How long till we get ESP and regional networks from the Fox mergers? So yes, Disney's buying the. Um, the Fox regional sports networks. So I would assume they're gonna get rebranded as like ESPN, Detroit, etc. cetera. Um, when that will happen, I don't know. We're still waiting for approval of the merger. So that needs to happen first. Once that happens, the merger will happen and then they'll they'll have to look at uh, rebranding later on. So it's very real possibility that Fox Sports Detroit, Fox Sports Midwest, etc., will be called Fox Sports something, but be owned by Disney and ESPN. It's a weird world we live in. Uh, Raymond says, is there any updates on Google versus Amazon with the YouTube app on the Fire TV? No. Last we heard is the two companies are in talks and nothing has come from it since then. So still no word on when YouTube TV will, or YouTube or YouTube TV will be coming back to the Fire TV. Uh, still waiting for at t Sports Networks to stream. Yeah, you and everybody. It would be great to see the former Root Networks come out for streaming.
I'm s all right. I'm looking for a good Android box to replace my Chromecast. Uh, if money is no option, the best Android TV device on the market is the um, Nvidia Shield because it's got the Amazon app also. Uh, the Air TV is a pretty good player out there, so check that out. How do I get a Roku DirecTV Now beta invite? Uh, you just gotta be lucky, they'll you know sign up. Keep an eye on your email when the invite comes. Sign up for it. Any info about streaming of ESPN? You did it two day, last two days ago. Yeah, so two days ago, ESPN, the new streaming service they're launching called ESPN Plus, announced it would cost four ninety nine a month and have like ten thousand events a year. Uh, from a wide range of sports, but no additional information has come. It's coming out later this year. Exactly when, we don't know. We'll probably learn more when we get closer to it. All right, been watching a lot of college games on Stadium. Really like the channel. Yeah, Stadium is a great service, streams free and over the air in many different markets. Um. Raymond says, when can we expect uh, wireless phones to get 5G? Probably next year we'll start seeing them. You may even see like the new iPhone, probably not the iPhone because they're so, I mean, let's, let's just be honest. Apple is typically not one of the first services to come out there with the new technology. Uh, but look maybe for the new Samsung Galaxy devices later this year to launch 5G. Um, AT&T is gonna release a, a puck, they're calling it. First will be the first device, a Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, do you think um, YouTube TV's deal, um, LAFC, LA, I forget what the name of that team is, but the YouTube deal there to sponsor that team is just to get their brand out there. You see this like TCL just sponsored the Rose Bowl and it's TCL's Rose Bowl or whatever. It's just a branding deal. Um, YouTube TV did that recently with the World Series where it was the, brought to you by YouTube TV. You saw their ads and banners all over the World Series promoting YouTube TV, just the same thing happening there. Looking forward to Michigan basketball and softball season. Um, is the best coverage BTN Plus or does Michigan have a full college streaming service? Uh, BTN Plus for stuff like the um, softball uh, will probably be a good idea, but then there's maybe, B that won't get you the main BTN network, you'll still need some like places you view, DirecTV Now, Fubo, Hulu, etc. Um, if someone has HBO on Hulu Live, can they also access it on the Amazon channels? I don't believe you can use the Amazon channels to log in through third parties. So no, I don't know, but I want to say that um, if you subscribe to um, HBO through Hulu, you can log into the Hulu app or to the HBO app, excuse me. Uh, when will we ha ever get 60 frames per second DirecTV now on browsers or mobile devices? It'll probably happen. They have 60 frames per second select devices. Probably more coming out soon. Christian says you should look into this news. What news? Did I miss something? Uh, Christian, uh, let me know what you're talking about. All right, keep the questions coming. BTN Plus for 10 bucks for one school. It's not a bad deal. Uh, but remember, you're not going to get the national BTN feed. Raymond says, do you cover music streaming services like iHeartRadio, Spotify, and Pandora? A little bit, not a lot. There's so much to cover in the world of cord cutting. I will throw in some, especially when I find deals for those services. I will cover that. Thank you, Christian. Yeah, it's just a sponsorship deal. I talked about it a little bit in the past, Christian. There's really not a lot to say about that particular deal there that we haven't already posted about. Luke, I need some help looking for a modem that will work with Windstream. I'm not off the top of my head. I can't tell you what modems work with Windstream, but I would go on Amazon and just type in Windstream modem to see what comes up. Jigsaw says, uh, this um, set TV now is slow. Yeah, well, it's a piracy service and piracy services typically do have technical glitches. What am I drinking? I'm drinking water. Oh, let me rip that button. Sorry. Uh, why am I drinking? I'm drinking water. I'm just putting it in my Cobra Cars News coffee mug because it looks pretty cool. The um, reason behind that is it when you talk a lot, you get very thirsty. Luke, what's your favorite streaming service? It depends on my mood. Um, 
I don't get to watch as much TV as I used to. I have become a big fan of Hulu. I really like their lineup. I've been working my way through Stargate recently. Um, a friend of mine threw myself on a Rick and Morty. That's kind of a crazy fun. Um, mind relaxation, we'll call it. Um, I love Amazon. Um, I love Netflix. Uh, my live TV streaming service, I usually use them around the time of football season. Not really much of the rest of the year. Jigsaw says, I'm watching you on my Nexus player. Wow, you have a Nexus player. Uh, frame that, because I don't think there's going to ever be another Nexus player. Uh, but it's good to have you here. Just got my new TCL 49-inch S-Series with HDR. What a difference. Yeah, those HDR, I'll be honest, when I made the jump from like standard def to, 4, to uh, HD, it's like, wow, standard def to HD is a huge difference. You can see it. It's noticeable. When 4K came out, I was one of the people that kind of looked at it and said, I can't really see a difference here. But with HDR now added on, it's like, okay, there it is. That reminds me of the jump from standard depth to HD. We're going from HD to HDR, there's a noticeable difference that makes me want to go buy a new TV. What mic do I use, Christian asks. I have an Audio Technica microphone. Let's see if I get this in the image. It has a USB on it, which allows me to plug directly into my computer and use it as my uh, microphone for my computer. Uh, again, it's Audio Technica. You can find them on Amazon. Duff says, I watched some videos about 5G being health concern. Okay, here's the thing. Yeah, I can show you videos that will show you water will kill you on YouTube. Um, don't, I wouldn't worry about 5G. There's much bigger things that are going to kill you before 5G does. Uh, I Don't worry about it. 5G is great. And 5G is being regular. Um, there is a regulations around 5G. It has to go through the same health and safety checks that 4G did. Um, I don't. Somebody is just trying to make some money. I swear off of this. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen this video you're talking about. But anytime people are like, there's a health and safety thing. Take it all with a grain of salt. What I tell you about all news is there is doom and gloom. The world's going to end. There is everything's okay. The truth is somewhere in the middle. This is probably one of those situations. Doom and gloom is going to tell you one thing. Everything's okay. It's going to tell you another thing. Use your mind, but the truth is probably somewhere in the middle. Um, but uh, they, 5G is being regulated. 5G, FCC, and others are um, have to pass it through health and safety concerns, research, testing. It's been in the works for over uh, five years now. I want to say about five years. So it's it's not something just being slapped out there. Besides Sling TV and other services that stream cricket, uh, off the top of my head, I don't really know. Cricket's one of those that don't have a big presence in the United States. Sling TV, I think, is maybe the best one out there for it. My setup um, antenna, um, do do do, good, great. Uh, I'm about to take a trip to another state. Would Direct TV now work? Um, just the same as home. Yes, but you will lose if you travel outside of like your regional sports market or your regional. Um, local channel market, you will lose those, but your ESPNs, AMC, etc., will all still be there with DirecTV Now when you travel. And the great thing about DirecTV Now, something that Hulu and PlayStation View doesn't do, if you take your Apple TV, Roku, Fire TV, whatever, with you to the other state, I take a Roku with me in hotels, it will allow you to stream DirecTV Now on that Roku outside your home network. Uh, PlayStation View and Hulu do it on mobile devices, but they don't allow it for a player. Is the AT&T Nighthawk LTE mobile hotspot a good choice for streaming? DirecTV Now, sure. Just be very aware of your data cap when they'll slow you down. Here's the thing about using a hotspot, um, even ones that are so-called unlimited as your um, streaming thing. It can work great, but once you pass like 25 gigabytes, for instance, if the network would become congested, you run the risk of being throttled. And if you get throttled, your streaming won't work. I hear all the time from people who say, I use my phone for core cutting for months, stream Netflix, Hulu, all this stuff, and then suddenly one day it just stopped working. While your market became congested, they saw this one person streaming 500 gigabytes through their phone and said, mm, we're gonna cut that person off to free up the bandwidth for everybody else. Now, that's probably going to not be an issue once 5G becomes a reality, but we're still a year or two away from that becoming pretty widespread. I wish Epix would stream all their live TV channels 
to non-cable subscribers for normal fee. I think, doesn't Epix have a subscription service? Somebody, or is it not live? Is it just on demand? I haven't subscribed to the Epix service, but I know they have an Amazon channel and a standalone streaming service. Um, have you heard any news from Popcorn Flicks? Nope, not anything recently. If I heard your news, it's on the site. You must have an antenna or channel uh, spectrum to do local NBC from arcade or. Mule, if your local um, NBC affiliate has been dropped from your cable provider, my number one recommendation is get an antenna. Go to antennarecommendations.com. It's antenna recommendations.com put your address in there see what local affiliates are available in your area and you know maybe a 30 50 dollar antenna is all you need to get your locals back jigsaw says will there ever be a roku jailbreak well jailbreak's just a name roku already can install third-party apps like there's no such thing as a jailbroken fire stick that just a name somebody put on it when they put a um, Cody on it. Well, Cody is probably what you're asking to come to Roku. Probably not because Roku has really works differently. So just keep that in mind. Um, BIN on Sling had a cricket match on the other day. Yeah, so cricket season's coming off. Sling TV is probably one of the best services. Will TV is another one out there. Um, check both out. See which ones have the cricket content you want. Roku did not get arrested. Are you talking about their um, legal issue in Mexico? Um, some cable companies sued a unofficial Roku add-on. So there's the Roku Channel Store, which is all official content. And then there's unofficial ones that you can sideload a third-party app on. Just like on the Fire TV, you can sideload apps. While a third-party one was uh, a piracy device, they got sued in Mexico, and the Mexican courts banned sales of all Roku devices in Mexico. And that's the last I heard of it. So keep that in mind. Um, when will you be testing the Stream Plus? So the Stream Plus got delayed. It was supposed to come out last month. Now they're saying it's coming out in the next month or two. I hope to this month do a full review of the Stream Plus. We'll keep an eye on that. Luke, do you know of any Roku channels that work with HD Home Run tuners? I think Plex is the only one that does that right now. So check out Plex. Um, Christian, I don't really do a lot of the unofficial Android boxes anymore. I used to really review anything that would come in. Now my time's just a lot um, tighter. Um, learned a lot more over the time. But uh, yeah, so I used to review pretty much anything that came in the door. Now I, I'm a little bit more selective in what we, re we review. What are other services that offer like 100 channels for free? Hey, Johnson, we're here to um, promote local content. And like you just said, are they illegal? Are these services that promise you HBO for free legal? Uh, well, I, I ask you this question. If it's, I'll, I'll give you the statement I use when these things come up. If it's too, if it sounds too good to be true, dot, dot, dot. Um, yeah, keep that in mind. Hey, ton of new people here. One thing, I only have a handful of these Core Cards News mugs, less than 10 now. If you want Core Cards News mug, Link in the show notes to pick one up. They're $10.99. You support Core Cars News. Help us out. Um, and you get a cool little coffee mug. Number two, every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, we're right here and talking about Core Cars, thing, helping you break through from the high cost traditional cable TV. If you would like to learn more about core cutting, hit that subscribe button. We post a few times a week here. But over at corecarsnews.com, we post five, six, seven times a day to talk about all things core cutting, streaming devices, over there TV, etc. So if you want to learn more about core cutting, go there, corecardsnews.com. So keep that in mind. I'm going to play a quick ad because it pays the bills. Some of you may see this, some of you may not. Um, everybody's asking if I think YouTube TV will add TNT, TNT. And for the last time today, probably not. According to Time Warner, who owns TNT, they offered... Uh, 
YouTube TV, the TNT, CNN, etc. YouTube TV turned them down because they said it cost too much money and they would have to raise the prices and they didn't want to do that. So I would say probably won't be seeing a ton of new channels added to YouTube TV anytime soon. All right, any new streaming apps coming soon? Uh, not that I've heard, but I hear you, I'll let you know. Will anybody come out with an official Android TV 8.0 box? Keep an eye on uh, Nvidia Shield, they'll probably be the first ones. Um, All right, keep the questions coming. I will do my best to answer them. And if I haven't answered your question, re-ask it, or you know, use the super chat to donate to your question is pinned at the top. Um, but so many questions are flying by, some get past me before I can answer them. We got 10 more minutes, I'm gonna call this short today. So 10 more minutes, get your questions in. Is there any good antennas for 85 miles plus to 100? You know you can go on Amazon, type in that, and look for them. Those really big old male ones with that that just look huge. The bigger the antenna, it's what you want. If you're looking at like towers 100 miles away you're trying to get, you want to put your antenna on a high pole as high as you can get it. Google, look around online for recommendations on how to do that safely with grounding it and so forth. Um, but yeah, 100 miles is, very, is stretching it, just to be honest. Twitch added live TV channels. I've seen 13 channels. Yeah, Twitch is expanding into different content out there. Some of that though, I think people are pirating on Twitch, just like they pirate with YouTube TV Live. Some of them are official. I'm not sure which ones are which. I'm looking into that. Have a good night, Mike. It's good to see you here. Johnson says, with a 3.0 new over there standard, will you need a internet connection? No, 3.0 over there TV will work without an internet connection. I have seen 3.0 in the wild. I have got demos of it at CES. Life is good. Um, so keep that in mind. Will my box be upgraded? I don't know. My box has been very quiet recently. Do I think NFL Network will come to Hulu or YouTube TV? Possibly, but won't hold your breath right now. Do you think there will ever be a day where um, everything is wireless like PlayStation 4 and Roku? Um, I mean, theory, everything could be, Jigsaw. Uh, I mean, you're asking theory, theoretical questions. I mean, will NFL never come to DirecTV? No, very possible. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'll probably, don't expect it to happen right now. If it's going to happen, it's probably going to happen closer to the um, NFL season later this year. For a few months um, last year, when I first got my Apple TV fourth generation, I was able to use an app that allowed you to get international TV channels, including British TV feeds. Well, it sounds like you were using a piracy app, Dean, and I got shut down, just to be honest with you. What is a MyBox? A MyBox is an Android TV powered device like a Nvidia Shield or a Nexus player, um, sold at Walmart, and it's just, it's just another um, streaming player. Dean, I don't know why it was. I'm not sure even what app you're talking about, but if it was giving you like BBC stuff for free, it was probably a piracy app, just to be honest with you. I mean, they do sometimes slip through. Any suggestions for other network tuners for over the air TV? Network tuners, air TV, Tableau DVRs, and the um, HG Home Run are the three I recommend. All right. Do I have to have internet for a Tableau DVR? Yes, you're gonna need internet for a couple things here. While your Tableau will work on your interior network, if your network is out, your internet is needed for the ability to have a uh, um, all the guide data downloaded and so forth. So you really do need it. If you wanna be able to record shows, you know, see what's coming up in the guide data, et cetera. Any suggestions for other um, network tuners or, or our answer to that? Um, any other Clearstream TV type of device? Now that's a great one. It's a little limited with a single tuner, um, but Clearstream TV I like. I hope they keep developing it and improving it. Any news about ISPs, network speeds, or price hikes? Not right now, Raymond. Nothing really new to add on that. I think we've seen all the price hikes for the year. 
our yearly price hikes have come and gone. All right, what would it take for me to be able to um, use apps that allow me to watch TV channels from Canada? Move to Canada. Um, I don't know of any legal streaming service that's airing Canadian channels in the United States. One thing, if you're looking for a particular show though, many Canadian networks sell their shows on services like iTunes and Amazon Prime Video. Well, TV will overcome all the streaming box. They could, but right now they're focusing on DVRs. I don't even think they're taking their DVR business all that serious anymore. Anywhere to win Root Sports will be added to the streaming service. Now it's called AT&T Sports, and no, no news on that. Can I make a suggestion? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm always open to suggestions. All right, hey, get your last questions in, and we're going to wrap this up. But yeah, Johnson, let me know your suggestion. Hi, right, everybody just stopped with your questions. So does that mean we're done today? Um, last call for questions. About four minutes left, and I'm wrapping this up. Thank you, everybody who's here. If you are new, hit that subscribe button. Check out corecardsnews.com. Every day we post content out there all over the world. So keep that in mind. Tubi TV is a good selection of uh, UK TV shows. Yeah, so check out Tubi TV for um, Korean shows too. A lot of that. Is the Time Machine channel legit? I, you know, I'm just not familiar with that, Robert. I can't comment on it. Um, Tony says you mentioned taking a Roku to hotels. I try to get my um my Chromecast to uh, a hotel it doesn't work. I believe both now support it. You need to have the for the Roku. You need to have the Roku app on your phone. So you will connect your TV to your Roku, to your TV, and then connect it to a hotel Wi-Fi. A little box will come up and say, open your phone, and then it'll walk you, open the Roku app, and then follow these steps, and it will show you how to go out there and connect it to your hotel Wi-Fi. Fire TV does that, I believe Chromecast does that, and Roku does that. Is it better to stream um, TV over Wi-Fi or Ethernet? If at all possible, Ethernet will always get you the best results. All right, everybody, I think we're going to call it. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day. I appreciate everybody's support here. Hitting the likes, sharing your content, going out there, and um, and being supportive of Core Cars News is a huge help to Core Cars News. Yeah, I, I can't express it again how much I appreciate everybody who shares a story, comments on a story, likes a video, subscribes. It's just, it's unbelievably helpful to Core Cars News. So I hope you all have a great day. I'm gonna hit one last ad today because it pays the bills, but join us next Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, um, and check back for a ton more content coming to Core Cars News. All right, let me hit this ad. Some people will see it, other people will not see it, but it's there. Um, I hope you all take care. As soon as this ad finishes, I'm gonna end the stream, and uh, we're gonna have a great night. Um, I hope you all will have a great night also. All right, it's a long ad. Waiting for it to end. Johnson, um, I don't think I saw your... Oh, I see your question, yep. You know, we're working on something like that, Johnson. We're working on something like that. Keep keep that in mind. All right, everybody, take care. Um, and let you know, I do have big plans to grow this Q&A and make it even better in the future. Hang tight.